All right, guys, welcome back for one more 30 Minutes Missions review here. We're going to be taking a look at a couple of things once again in this video. So taking a look at first off the extended armament vehicle here, which is the Air Fighter version gray. So this is a kind of backpack system that you can use just on its own as just like a jet fire fighter, kind of as you can see there on the front, or you can attach it onto the back of your different 30 Minutes Missions kits or probably Gunpla kits as well too, I think. But let's uh, check it out first and then we'll see what kind of stuff we can do with it. And the thing that we're going to be taking a look at here in this video is the Option Weapon 1 for Rabiot. So this gives you some different uh, melee and range based weapons like big kind of rifle weapons as well as some blade weapons as well too. So you got some cool stuff in here that you can use with your Rabiot or kind of just whatever you want. Of course, it's all pretty compatible. So we'll take a look at these both with some different examples of 30 minutes missions and we'll try it out on some Gunpla stuff as well. So we'll go through the air fighter version here and on the front of the box, you can just see how it looks like when it's just flying on its own. And in the back, you can see how it's gonna look attached to a couple of different uh, 30 minutes missions kits there. I wanna say mobile suits, but mecha? What's the correct word for them? I don't know. But the point is you can buy this just as a standalone thing just on its own or you can connect it onto other 30 minutes missions kits. This is E. V02, that would be uh, extended armor vehicle. I believe the 01 would be the uh, tank parts, if I remember correctly, from the Alto ground type. Is that correct or not? Anyway, here on the top of the box is showing what this is going to look like without any paint on it at all. It's just all kind of mostly gray, and that blue piece on there, I'm guessing, is probably going to be a sticker. Uh, it would be cool if it's a clear blue part, but we'll find out here in just a moment. On the other side, that's showing that this is how you can customize it by uh, bending the wings, I guess. And then of course you can attach this onto other different uh, 30 minutes missions kits. There is that on the back of the Rabiot there. So it looks pretty cool. This massive, uh, like the nose cone of this can turn into like a big helmet where it looks is really far like pointing back. It's kind of like the Deacon alien from Prometheus sort of in a way, right? You guys know what I'm talking about? Then over here, customizing, of course you can do a whole bunch of that. That's kind of the thing here. Don't really need to keep saying it. Of course, everyone knows that's the theme of these is customization, customization, customization. So we got two uh, bags of runners in here and our instructions, which is not really a, a book list, just a fold out thing here. So pretty simple. On the top, just the box art there once again, now in full color, but again, it's a pretty dark image as usual. And then we got that information there in Japanese and English. So you can check that out if you want to read some more about this. So we got some more about how to customize it down here custom mixing this with different color versions as well as the Rabio dark gray to make some cool stuff. Around the back it's just right on into the construction so it looks like yep that's going to be a blue sticker on there and we're just going to be building that up pretty simply and it just shows you how to use this stuff attached onto some different kits so there we go. So you got a couple of blue foil stickers here they're going to be using for some camera bits basically and a big canopy sticker there of course. First up we got runner UTC1 and UTC2 for these sections. These are actually parts from the Alto flight type so if you built that or you're familiar with that kit these are going to be some parts from there now in this kind of grayish color. And also we're going to UTD here in white for again these are parts that were originally from the flight type Alto that you're going to be using with this as well. Those go in there on the backpack. And then for our new parts with this set, they're SMA1, once again, also in gray here. And then we've got SMA2, which is going to be a copy of this app of the runner right there. So that's the air fighter. I'll get that built up. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. Let's also just quickly go through what the option weapon one for Rabiot has in store for us. So right there on the front, you can see a Rabiot using this uh, sword and this other smaller sword, which looks like something from like the Gundam 00, 00 Gundam would use something like that, right? It has a sword similar to that. Now here, close combat weapon and rifle. You got to look there at all the different parts you're going to have included. You can mix and match the different uh, ends of the barrel and option equipment you want to have attached onto the rifle and all that. And then backpack and light weight body unit so you'll have a different version for the body and then a new part uh, for the backpack as well too so you can swap those out on the back side just some more images showing the different customized options things you can do with this but let's go ahead and crack it open see what we got here on the inside just showing you how to build this with the different weapons and so you can make these different versions of the gun barrel you can use the chainsaw part as well you got the close combat weapons down there which are pretty gonna be pretty easy pretty self-explanatory they're just like swords you just put it in the hand kind of all there is to it. And then here it will also show you how to use these new parts for the chest and the backpack if you want to swap those out on your main unit. So we're see here is from the original Rabiot kit. So it's the same rifle and backpack parts from the Rabiot, but you'll have a new set of these here. Once again, just in standard gray. And then OPW-C is what are going to be our new parts for this uh, set. So you got the new body parts there, some new sword parts. You can see all the new rifle parts and everything. All looking very nicely detailed as usual. So these should look pretty nice. But let me go ahead, get this stuff all put together, and we'll take a look at how it's going to work with some different kits. 
All right, so here is the air fighter all built up. Very cool looking. That sticker, well, it would have been nicer if that was an actual clear blue piece. I mean, it does look pretty good on there. The landing gear is kind of odd as it doesn't really look necessarily too much like landing gear. It looks like some other thing kind of stuck on there. And then the feet, there are these like kind of shoes that are on the bottom which will act as feet later on are also kind of weird but if you just look at it from the top i mean it does look pretty cool and of course all that stuff underneath is removable so it's not really that big of a deal I like that just as a flying thing on its own i think it does look pretty cool so you have quite a bit of articulation here in the wings as well and then just basically just aside from this the only other thing that you have is the other piece for the head which will uh, i'll show you guys that in use here in a moment now i do wish that it would have come with a stand it's just something like like one of these for example this was not included but just these are the simple stands that Bandai sometimes gives and this would cost them, I don't know. If this would have made the kit cost one or 200 yen more, I think could have been totally justifiable for something that's meant to get flying like this, to actually have a stand included. But as you can see, it is really nicely detailed on here, which is pretty cool. So for the articulation, you've got rotation at the main point of connection there, also up and down movement there. And then you've got another point of articulation a little bit here where that moves side to side and then here also up and down and also rotation here this back little winglet can also rotate on its own there you can also rotate that whole section up like that something like that if you wanted to this whole front section uh, at the front here can also rotate on its own like that and you can rotate that that way and you can rotate that forward and back like that so you have a ton of articulation here in the wings which is great these parts here on the back which are the parts from the alto flight type uh, will move up and down like that and then the side parts can also move on their own so you can rotate those how you want and then like I said these are just kind of the parts which will act as our new feet on here with the little wheels on the back so we'll see those in use here in a moment as well so those just popped onto this ball joint there on the bottom you do have a hard point here and you know, I mean there's hard points kind of everywhere on this for you to add more to it or subtract or mix it up here and there with different bits you also have underneath the wings here uh, these handle parts which will which can also be used for handles for some of this stuff but so let's just see a demonstration of some of these parts we'll use our rabiot here so you can separate this out into actually a couple different sections here at the front you need to remove both of these in order to be able to plug this onto the back so that'll just plug straight onto his back here like so gonna use those feet so go ahead and remove those and then also remove the ball joints that they're plugged into don't need those on there obviously the color is not gonna match you can just pop those on there in place of the rabbit's standard feet and the landing gear which we removed earlier can also be used as a weapon I mean you can use this as a weapon just on its own like that which it doesn't really kind of look like anything it looks like he's holding some weird futuristic tool or something but you could just it's got a couple hard points on here where you could attach the different stuff onto that to turn it into something a little bit more substantial obviously but it's the same thing with the handles that I mentioned up underneath the wings so you can use those for you know however you might want to use those then we'll go ahead and replace the head here as well so basically you take this piece here which has a couple of stickers on there and then attach it to the front kind of nose cone that we took off and now that becomes this long head which on its own does look pretty weird I'm gonna say but I think once you build up like some more back it just looks weird because it's like uh, sticking up you got like the body and then this big thing just like sticking up but if you had some more stuff like built up here around the backpack it would maybe like hide that so that it doesn't seem so out of place so it's just like jutting up into nowhere but you get the idea of how that could be used something like that but here i'll just give you a look at a couple of examples of how some of these parts could be utilized and again this is just only using the parts that are included with this and then obviously the the base rabbi out there but i think you guys will see that this set is really quite nice i mean i really like this it gives you a lot of really cool options if you want to add some really cool wings to some of your kits or if you just wanted to use this as just the fighter on its own i think it's still pretty cool looking so it could be used you know or like shown as some kind of like support unit or something or you could just model this all up as like its own big thing you could add a ton of parts a bunch more parts to this and like really build it up into like this big massive flying armor thing so i don't know there's a lot that you could do with this and so i think this is a really good base set here that you've got that you can probably go a lot of ways with. Now getting into the weapon set, I just want to start off here with the new torso. So it's basically just two halves that you'll have to do some work basically to take apart your currently existing torso on whatever kit you want to use this on. I'm, in this case, I'm just going to once again be using the Rabiot here. So there you go. As you can see, it's definitely a much smaller torso than what the Rabiot has originally. So that's uh, going to be something that's going to change the appearance quite a bit. I'm going to just go ahead and put the uh, backpack back on here just to make sure that it fits because actually it's looking like it doesn't want to fit on there you can see there's those little tabs there kind of on the bottom of that that are kind of blocking this from fitting on there perfectly so it's kind of attached 
but kind of like just barely holding on there, what you would have to do is those little uh, bits there at the bottom of there, you'd have to cut those off so that this could fit flat against the back. So anyway, as far as the weapons go, we'll just start off here with the base rifle. Now this is exactly what you would get with the Rabio, and also, should mention, this backpack too is also included, which is again, exactly what you would get with the Rabio. Uh, so the first variation that you can make with this gun is to just take that off and just have this as a smaller pistol. Now you do also have this extra little small barrel part if you wanted to add a little bit of a barrel to that, sort of like a Jim's Beam Spray Gun kind of look. But if we attach this back on there for the moment, we've also got this piece, which it doesn't show in the manual. As far as I can see, I'm looking over it again and again and again, and I can't find where you're supposed to use this, but I think this is meant to go on the back there like that to create kind of a butt to the rifle at the back. Because you can also put this here on the front, but it's not very clear what exactly you're meant to plug into there from there. So I think this is just meant to be out the back like that. So as far as different options uh, for the back side of the rifle, you do also have uh, this part here, which will go over that, which will actually cover the handle, so then you won't be able to use that handle, but unfortunately, we do have a couple of other different handle options. You've got this one that can just be plugged into the top like that, and then if we go ahead and plug this part back on there, you can see it can be used for like, uh, uh, you're gonna hold it and then it's gonna be on the underside of the arm, like that sort of style weapon. We do also have this like uh, grenade launcher looking at attachment here that will plug onto the underside of there, which will look something like that. So that's how that could be used, something like that. Or if you didn't want to use that handle, you do also have another different handle, which just attaches via a uh, three millimeter attachment point like that. So you could just plug that into the side and then have this being like something you hold on like a side handle or something. Also what we've got here is this part which will go on the top of the gun like that. Now again, it's totally up to how you want to use that. You could switch it around, use it the other way if you wanted to, like that, or just kind of however you wanted to do that. Then of course, we've got the chainsaw attachment which will attach onto there. And then what you could do is like plug this handle, secondary handle onto the side of here for a two-handed grip on that. I think kind of makes sense for if you're having this as something he's gonna be using to actually slice other robots in half, having a secondary handle to do that does seem to be a pretty fitting adjustment on that one. And then we've got the big barrel, which will attach onto here, which this one also has a hard point here on the side where you could attach that secondary handle onto the left or the right, and then a bunch of places on the top here where you can make some, uh, add some attachments. Let's say, for example, we wanted to add that kind of sight part on the top of there, and then on the track on the bottom, add that grenade launcher onto the bottom of there as well. Or you can use this grenade launcher part, I think also doubles as uh, like a, a sight as well too. You can make it look like that. Like that's supposed to be a sight on there. Now those parts don't actually line up perfectly. So I guess you could put it somewhere like a little bit farther on, something like that, or a little bit farther back, something like that you could do with that. And actually at the end of here, if you remove this barrel tip, there's another attachment hard point. So you could actually extend this if you wanted to get really crazy by adding another chainsaw into the end of that, or just that tiny little barrel tip if you didn't want like the big massive one. Just add this little guy onto there, something like that. Inversely, that giant barrel tip you could attach just onto here without that big part on there, without this on there, just something like that with this big massive barrel out the end of that rifle. So lots of different options that you can do with this gun there, obviously. And there's one more, this part like this, which will attach onto there, which has like this magazine on it and these blades, which can go again, either way, however you want to do that. I think it just kind of makes sense. Or it seems like it should be that the larger blade should be on the bottom, something like that. Or if you wanted to attach this part back onto there, put this handle back onto the top of here. And then in the end of there, attach this little barrel tip into there, something like that for an like underhanded grip, melee weapon, cannon sort of bit thing. That looks pretty cool, I think. So anyway, you get the point. There's a lot of different things that you can do with that set of stuff. Now, as for the melee weapons included in here, there's not really quite as much that you can do with this. So you got the main sword here. The handle is a separate piece, but that doesn't really plug into anything else. Basically, just you can change the adjustment of how this plugs in down there, and then this is just on a hard point. So for example, if you didn't want to hold this in the hand, you could just stick that into the side of the arm something like that you could do with that. And then we've got this guy, which again can be held in the hand here, or you could turn it the other way and hold it in the hand on this section here. And then you've got this connection piece as well too, which you can use to secure this onto the side of the arm or something. Something like this, or you, know, you could just use this piece just on its own as its own just kind of little mini shield sort of thing there, a little bit of extra armor on the arm. Or you could also attach this sword and that shorter blade together to make a 
bigger, longer sword, and you could just hold on to it on this point here, or something like that. So, uh, not as much that you can do with the uh, melee weapons included with this set, but there's definitely some options you can do with that. But so that's gonna do it for today, guys. I mean, there's obviously a lot more that you can do than what I'm showing you guys here in this video. These, as it goes with 30 minutes missions, it's very open to your own customization, and that's kind of the whole point of the line. So I'm just showing you guys some examples of what you can do with this, but obviously I would recommend you guys, if you're interested, you know, pick up a set or two, or you know, a couple of these sets. Having multiples of these smaller sets, not gonna really cost you a lot, and there's a lot more mixing and matching that you can do, or customizing that you can do, by having more of the parts to work with. Like, for example, if you have of like that kind of triangular blade, the short one that you have here, as we saw on like the uh, artwork or the uh, pictures on the packaging, one thing that you can do with this, if you have four of them, you can connect them all together to make like a four-ended big like star ninja blade kind of thing. So very open to customization. And one thing that I like about this set more than other sets that have been out so far is that a lot of the parts are very useful. A lot of times in the other sets, I would see the parts and I'd say like, oh, okay, there's maybe one or two of those parts that I would like. The other two, I don't really, the other ones, I, you know, I don't really think they look very cool. But in this set, I could really honestly see myself using almost any of these parts. Among the different ways that you can customize the rifle, I think there's a lot of really cool combinations that you can make with the parts you have included with this. So it's definitely a set that I could see myself getting more than one of again in the future for any 30 minutes missions kind of custom project that I'm doing. And, and of course you can still also use this stuff with Gunpla as well too. I'll just remind you guys that most of this stuff should work, at least anything handheld I mean, should work with your uh, Gunpla kits. Now, as far as anything that you need to attach onto the body, you know, some Gunpla kits use three millimeter peg holes, some of them don't, some of them have like the standard two peg uh, way that the backpack plugs into the back of the torso on, the, on like more recent kits, but not all HG kits have that obviously. So that's it. If there was any of these parts that you would want to attach onto gun kits or something like that, all you need is a three millimeter drill, just drill a hole and then you got your attachment point right there. So pretty easy to customize these. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have further questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those down below and check out all the 30 minutes mission stuff we have available there on USA Gundam store. The link is down in the video description as well as my coupon code. You can use that to save 10 percent off everything in the shop so check that out and until next time guys thank you all so much for your support i'll see you then bye bye